Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a watermark inside of your video, how to put a watermark on your video, and I'll even show you how to animate it. Why would you want to do this? couple reasons. One, as you can see here, this is a music video. If I hit spacebar, we've got a guy playing music. And uh, the music industry is especially notorious for people, you know, stealing clips and taking music and uploading it and pretending you know it's their music or you know trying to monetize other people's stuff the second reason you might want to do a uh, watermark like this is because if you've made a video as a video editor or a graphic designer and you know you show your end product to somebody and they look at it and go hey this is great and rather than pay you for it they right click save as or they download it and uh, you don't get paid for it so watermark protects your work and it makes sure that people know who did it all right that little preamble out of the way let's go now you're going to see here that I've got the watermarks put right in the bottom right here. Super easy to do. If you stick with me to the end, I'll even show you how to animate it <laughs> to make it even a little better. All right, cool. All right, let's go through this step by step. So I'm going to delete everything here and we're going to go through it front to back. Command A, deleting everything starting from scratch. Okay, first step is you go to your Finder or your Windows Explorer, wherever you have your footage. And I'm going to drag and drop this footage. This is stock footage of just some guy playing the drums, as you saw. Drag and drop it into your project panel. Second step, take the image, and you're also going to drag and drop that into the project panel. Now, when we go to the project panel, we're going to have both of these assets in here. The next step is you want to left click on the footage, drag and drop it into your timeline. That's going to go ahead and load it up. Now, I'm only going to want to say, let's work with five seconds of footage. I'm going to cut this a little shorter, so I'm just going to drag this to the left. So we've got five seconds, because if you go longer, it just takes more time to process it. Okay, so we've got the footage. We hit space bar, and bam, there he is doing his thing. I'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. All right, the second step is you want to take the uh, image or the logo, or in this case, the watermark, drag and drop that onto the second track on top of V1, so onto V2. And you're going to see that it went yellow here, so that means it's a little bit processor heavy. And you're going to see a few things. One, the, the image is too small because it's a small image, and B, it doesn't go through the end, all the way to the end of the video. So we're going to solve those things right away. First step, take this top image and slide it out to the end. So. Now it goes all the way to the end. The next step is you want to double click, like I just did there, on the watermark that you're going to be using. And when you do that, you're going to get the bounding box like I have here. Now I'm going to expand the size of it. So I'm pulling down on the, on the bottom right corner. I'm also holding down shift so that it expands proportionately so it doesn't go too high or too wide. And boom, that looks like a pretty good size. I'm now going to left click on it and I'm going to put it into place. So I'm going to say, let's watermark on the bottom right. And again, you can watermark anywhere you want. You can make it huge, whatever works for you. But for this tutorial, we're going to do bottom right. Okay, I'm going to left click off of that. Now I'm going to go back. I take the uh, playhead, move it to the back at the beginning, and I hit spacebar. The watermark is in place. That might be all you need to do. And if that's the case, your job is done. However, some things you may want to consider is if you click on the watermark, when I do that, you want to go to your effect controls panel. If you do not see it by default, you should, but if you don't, you want to go down to window, make sure there's a check mark beside effect controls. Go to your effect controls panel, and in this place, you may want to either reduce the opacity, so let's say you don't want it to be too, like, way out there, so maybe you want to go to something like 50%, I don't know, something like that, right? So it's not super salient, so it sort of blurs into the background. Fine, that looks pretty cool too, right? And it's not like totally in your face. Again, totally up to you. I'm going to go back to 100%. Secondly, you may want to animate your uh, watermark. Now this is like you know, bonus learning, like this, is, uh, this isn't going to be on the test, guys. But um, if you want to do that, make sure your playhead is at the start. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and left click on the toggle animation. I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to do a rotation animation just to show you what it would look like. So left click on this, set the rotation is set to zero. 
I'm going to move forward to about one second, let's say, at one second. I'm going to rotate it 25 degrees to the left, so I went to minus 25. And then when I hit two seconds, I'm going to rotate it back to zero. And then I'm just going to show you really quickly here. When I get to three seconds, I'm going to just move the time head up to three seconds. If you're not quite, there we go. I'm going to move it to 25 to the right. And then at the four second mark, I'm going to go back to zero. Just to show you a very quick animation for your um, watermark. Pardon me, <clears throat> losing my voice. Now, I've done it, and you'll see here that we've got some keyframes, right? There we go. So, if we go back to the beginning, and this is just extra marks, guys, not on the test, and we hit spacebar, or we hit play here, watch what happens. We've got a very subtle watermark animation in your video. That way, you know what, there's no way in heck anybody's going to be able to take that out of the video. So, the video is forever yours. Um, and if anybody uses it, you'll know it because your watermark's there. Guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.